Hello Aries, and welcome to the Letty Boo Guidance. If this is your first time here, thank you for showing up. For my subscribers, thank you, thank you, thank you for coming back. Hope you enjoy the content. For my new subscribers, if you do enjoy the content, please do come back. I really would appreciate it. And press that like button for you all, please. Thank you. All right, Aries, we're starting off with the Death card, the Seven of Cups, and the King of Cups. Okay, Aries. So what I'm seeing here is the death card. Okay, I see that, you know, the death card is not scary, first of all. The death card is just all about changes, okay, coming at the same time. So something in your life is kind of ending and you're starting a new cycle here with the death card, okay? Um, you know, it's just time to move on from something, okay? Um, you're transitioning to something, okay? So that's what that means. It's time to move on. But it's trying to move on from... Um, you thinking about something okay you have a lot of thoughts okay in your mind right now and you just have the confidence you need the confidence right now to choose um what you want to do okay because it seems like right now there's just too many um choices or you just don't want to commit to something right now so i need you to just kind of like focus on um all the options that you have and choose okay but you also have this king of cups energy and this king is um very tolerant and supportive i don't know if this is a person in your life right now that is around you okay that maybe you have to make the option on trying to choose between people or this energy is in your aura right now okay all right so let's see where we're coming with aries okay so we have the card of balance here with polarity we have patience and we have receive. Okay. So polarity, Aries, is just saying integrate your shadow side. Okay. There can be no light without dark. Understand the law of polarity. So it's about balance right now. So understand that everybody got a good and a bad side. Okay. And with this death card, things are changing. You need to change your thought on how to balance um, different types of energies. Your good and your bad. Your light and your dark. Okay, and you have to have patience right now. Okay, patience in choosing what you need to choose with the seven of cups and just patience in general. Okay, Aries, so pause before you take action. Okay, trust that divine timing is at work. Be patient and play while you wait. Okay, all right, so be patient, Aries. You got this king of cups energy with this receive. Be open to receiving goodness. Believe you are worthy of abundance a gift is coming to you soon with this king of cups wow aries maybe there's somebody coming in okay to deliver maybe your knight of shining armor is coming in or maybe it's something that you love that is coming forward because this is about your heart this is all about your feelings aries okay this is where you're at right now maybe there's some energy where you're at right now okay all right all right, Aries, let's see what we got. So we got resourceful rabbit, okay? So cunning, friendliness, and optimism. So be optimistic on what you choose, okay, in life, okay? Clever creature on the woods, teach me to leap easily over difficulty. So this change that you're going through, okay, understanding, you know, light and dark of different people, is saying that you need to be um, understanding and resourceful, okay, and understand about, op be optimistic about things. OK, your patience here is saying that curiosity, energy and productivity, um, sp sprightly critter of the forest, help me discover new opportunities. OK, with this seven of cups here in this aisle, I'm just thinking that you have a lot of choices. So just think through your choices with this card here, OK, about what you really want. All right. And your final card here is fearless frog. Okay, rebirth, cleansing, revitalization. Okay, you got death here, so that's all about rebirth. Um, dancing spirit of the pond, show me the path leading to a fresh start. So with this king of cups and you receiving here and you got this fearless frog, maybe there's something that you need to um, think about that you might really um, enjoy, that you might really want. Okay, Aries? So be open to um, receiving and not being fearful of what is being offered to you at this time. Okay, you do have opportunities opportunities okay maybe more than um one thing going on but um definitely understand that everybody has a light and a dark side even yourself and sometimes you just have to look at that okay and um 
go beyond, you know, some of our ways can sometimes be self-centered. But since you are so independent, Aries, sometimes you can look at things, you know, in a different way because you are a leading energy. So right now what you need to do is just lead with the extreme that you do have. And that seven of cups, choose the opportunity. This might be your opportunity. Um, continue to be fearless. Okay. Move your body, calm your mind, okay? So there's some movement there. And we have missed, okay? So with this miss is saying, things are not always what they seem. Beware of trickery, crap of infidelity, illusions, guard against limiting beliefs, statements, and decisions. They restrict options, okay? So illusions, this is where this is coming from. Um, don't be eluded. Okay, just because you have a lot of opportunities. Okay, um, calm your mind. Okay, be aware golden opportunity may be concealed under a veil of ambiguity. Investigate. So yeah, investigate your opportunities because you might need to receive here. Okay, and that's all about the mist. You can't see everything as clearly as you want because you have these seven of cups too. So um, Aries, just take a look at what you need to take a look at and just take a deeper dive. Thank you for being here, Aries. If you do like the actual content please subscribe and like thank you very much take care bye